The first one is Dave Shapiro on YouTube. If he talks about AGI in a way that, you know, I haven't really seen anyone talk about before. He talks about like a post AGI world. What might what might that look like? And, you know, just a lot of speculation of the future, which I find really interesting. Passiemp says, what other YouTube channels do you like? So I can show you guys my subscription. AI Jason is really good. He actually goes beyond just reading the papers as well and he um, implements a lot of things and kind of gives it in a tutorial format which is really great who else lex friedman i'm sure you've heard of lex friedman he has great guests on his podcast steve at builder.io he's recently uh, watched his video don't build ai want- products tldr of this is like instead of writing wrappers for open ai you should, if you can, try to build as much as you can with just hard code and then find that little piece that you can't do with hard code and then make a really small but efficient model just to do that little piece. So he explains how um, he does this kind of methodology for Builder.io's Figma plugin and they got so far with just hard coded and then they managed to do just like one of the small pieces or probably more with um, AI and more unique model is like you can iterate on the model instead of like if you're reliant on chat GPT, you have to wait for them to release an update for things to get better. World of AI is great. He they post really often, which is really great. And they they post a lot of AI tools like every day. It's like a new AI tool that they read through the paper. One gripe I have with them is they don't actually run the code. It seems they just read kind of the GitHub, but that's still like good enough for to raise awareness for people like me and then i can go on and actually try it, run the code so one of the recent ones that they've brought up is this context ai which actually looks very similar to open interpreter but um, one of the advantages that this context system seems to have is that it is aware of the latest python libraries and in the example they show that they've asked it to make a streamlit app that uses gpt4 vision preview which is something that was only recently like released. And they was able to make a whole app where people can upload an image and it uses the GPT Vision API to caption that image, which is really awesome. Brutal Strike says, this day in AI and Echo Hive. Let's check them out. Day in AI. Oh, it's a podcast? Excellent. I'll subscribe. And Echo Hive. This is a low-key one. Only 2,000 subs on Oh, cool. Echo Hive looks like they actually have code examples. Uh, what else do I have? Matt Wolf. He's great. His, the quality of his content is great. You've probably already heard of him. He has a lot of subs. I think he focuses a lot on the image generation stuff. He doesn't spend too much on the coding stuff as far as I'm aware. There's another Matt that does good coding stuff. I'm, I'm sure we'll get to him eventually. This Logan Barlett um show it's less ai but um, i discovered him they did this interview with alexander wang the founder of scale ai i I thought this was a really good podcast this guy's super smart he has says a lot of um, interesting things about ai indie dan dev is pretty cool so he was building this whole project with autogen very interesting content he's really pushing the boundaries of autogen so I haven't really seen anyone else take Autogen as far as him on YouTube. Uh, One Little Coder, he's great. He posts very often, which is good, like every day. And they actually do a bit more technical um, like videos. Dwar Cash interviews really smart people as well around AI. Deeply researched interviews. Yeah, he does. Oli Q is another fellow TikTok creator, very underrated. Um, they just recently made this, is AI faster than humans in slot car racing? So I think he made a project. He kind of makes these projects where the users can interact with physical like slot cars or RC cars over the internet, um, which is really cool. So definitely he's a bit of like a hacker, as you can see. Remsey, this guy's a bit low key too, only 200 subs. Um, he does live streams, testing LLMs, different LLMs, which is really cool. I haven't seen many other people do that, so... Check him out if you're into more low-key creators. You can see his views his views are quite low at the moment. But he does test out like the latest models um, just locally, it seems. So if you're into that, that would be cool. Prompt engineering. So I don't know. I don't have like a strong opinion on prompt engineering, but he has 130,000 subs, so it must be good. Geohots, obviously, if you haven't heard of Geohots, he is the first person to jailbreak the iPhone. 
um, ages ago, and then it, now he's went on to make this tiny grad organization. So it's like kind of like an open source self-driving car kind of thing, as far as I'm aware. And he's also building a whole bunch of other AI innovations. Like uh, I think Tiny Grad actually has kind of like a TensorFlow competitor, so like a library to help train LLMs. Um, AI Andy's great. He's on TikTok as well. Good quality content. Warren Shkreli, he's funny. He does AI sometimes, but oh, unfortunately for me, like I don't know, you might like it. He talks a lot about finance. I guess that's what is mostly his background is. I don't know if you haven't heard of Martin Shkreli. He's the one that got all that controversy for buying a pharma company and like 30xing their price of the pill or something. And then people like hated him for that because it was like, yeah, a whole bunch of controversy. But I personally think he's pretty, pretty interesting and definitely a character and very smart. Um, so I watch his content a lot. Lex Clips is just clips from Lex Friedman, Diary of a CEO, another good podcaster. Has great guests on prompt engineer. Oh, this one's different to prompt engineering. What did I watch here? Yeah, it looks like they do some advancements in AI as well. Autogen and MemGPT combining. People have been asking me to do that, but yeah, you can just watch prompt engineer's video. He combines a local LLM with Autogen and MemGPT. Jabril's is an old school YouTuber that did AI. Um, he, yeah, his, his content's very in, entertaining, actually. He made this um, made this website or live stream where AI comes up with bad Shark Tank ideas and they simulate the episodes. Where was it? Yeah, dehydrated water. Check it out. So he just had like a 24-7 live stream of AI generated episodes of Shark Tank where it was only bad ideas. So it's funny, like dehydrated water is like, doesn't even really make sense because you need water to hydrate the dehydrated water, but then you just get the like same amount of water or something. Axsmith industry is very entertaining. Not too much AI related, but they, they just make the coolest robots and stuff. And like Iron Man suits. And this one was sick, this big spider mech. It was just so big. Code Bullet, very entertaining. Um, I think he's Australian. He's got so many subscribers, 3 million. Um, he's been doing AI content for years. Very well-deserved subscriber count. And like the quality of his content is great, like excellent humor, excellent editing. Very good. Um, so definitely check him out. Matt Casey, I love this guy's content. It's not really AI generated. I mean, not really AI related, but it is deeply tech related and is very, very relaxing to watch. Like I sometimes watch him before bed um, and it's just like he's like repairing a computer or something. It's just like very therapeutic old school halo on an old iMac like if you're into technology I think you'd probably like him his content very well produced and entertaining it might be Matthew this guy Matthew Berman this guy's Open really AI's good. dev day just happened and they made it to him but he's definitely one of the best AI YouTubers I think because they do tutorials and they cover all the like latest tech 